half year voluntary in Ethiopia and I really fell in love with this country. I really enjoy being part of the community and spending time with them, eating with them, cooking with them and being at the bonfire, singing together. So this is something I've never experienced in any other place. I'm Valerie Seitz from Germany. After I finished like grade 12 graduation, I came for a half year voluntary in Ethiopia and I really fell in love with this country and also with Abby, like my partner. He always had a dream to come back to this area here where he was born. When I went here for the first time, like three years ago, to this like in this remote area, like mountains, um, I was really amazed because the people were so special because you could feel that there was no tourism before and everything was so original here. So I really fell in love with this place.
the main goal of the Mulu Ecolodge at the beginning, or in general, is um, bringing ecotourism into these mountains, into the Chucky Mountains. Because people here are really, they are all farmers, they don't have any other sources of income, and they are totally dependent on the weather. Like, if there's no rain, they can't harvest and they have really problems. So, the idea was to introduce ecotourism to this area and to give them other means of income by tourism. At the moment we have volunteers here to, from all over the world to help us to build up this area together with the farmers. For me, what is really special here is the community and how everything is integrated in the community. Because when I travel in Ethiopia, even though I like kind of speak the language a bit, but I always feel like I'm, I always feel I'm a foreigner in Ethiopia. And the only place in Ethiopia is for me where I can really relax and just be myself is here because it's so integrated with the people and the community, the farmer community here. They, they belong to the land and they gave us this, this land and they built up everything and they created the ideas with us and we just feel part of the family. What I found really special about this place also in the past with like volunteers here and guests here was that especially people who stayed longer really got in contact with the, with the farmers and they like developed friendships with them. And even there are like so many barriers between the people, it somehow works that there's a real cultural exchange. Like they are building up friendships and when they leave, they still call some of the farmers in the evenings when they're sitting at the campfire and drinking the local areki. And so that's, I think that's really special. <laughs> Four hundred kilometers north of the capital Addis Ababa is the source of Blue Nile, and there you also find Mount Choki, 4,088 meters above sea level high. 59 rivers and 273 streams flow through Mount Choki, which is also home for more than 85 species of plants and birds that are endemic to Ethiopia. At the center of Mount Joke lies a village that is exploiting its beautiful scenery and nature. Abiy Alam was born and brought up at this village and after graduating from Diploma in Foundation in Travel and Tourism from a Canadian company and he got his first degree in Computer Science from McAlee University. He came back to set up a tourism village at the heart of Mount Joki. When first time we came here and uh, I present my idea for the community in the church and everybody was gathered and I told my idea why I need to bring tourists here and we need a co accommodation. Mulu estate up has to be in the communal land and has to be protected and after that we promote the farmers tradition and also with the conservation and promote the tradition. <laughs> The self-sustaining innovative community lodge provides a unique experience for visitors and creates employment opportunities for communities residing nearby. I really love being here. It's such a unique experience um, and yeah, something totally new I have never experienced before. <laughs> I 
I learned so much about the local community and how they act and in everyday life uh, that I wouldn't change this for the world and I will definitely try to be back at Mulu Lodge. The Community Lodge, also known as Mulu Lodge, is creating new opportunities for local women and youth. Mulu is built by the farmers. All the materials supplied by the farmers except the solar. So Mulu Ecology creates jobs for 10 permanent workers at the moment and uh, it will uh, have around 27 workers soon and uh, it's also directly benefit 56 uh, parent households in the community because there are 300 farmers that are directly connected with Mulu. The main goal of this project is not only create jobs, it makes them to help the other community as well. So Mulu is a kind of their knowledge center. There is no Mulu without farmers, and in the future there is no farmers without Mulu. Arriving at the dramatic Kadami Gabena or Saturday market creates a chance to see and buy utensils that are used by the surrounding community for different purposes. Mulu's Lodge is one example of a sustainable tourism approach to fuel Ethiopia's ambitions of becoming one of the top five tourist destinations in Africa. However, the sector is challenged by weakness in destination development, services and products as well as infrastructure. Innovative private sector approaches like this one helps to address some of the challenges the tourism sector faces. It engages local communities for provision of services and develops destination areas while providing unique experiences to tourists. I really enjoy being part of the community and spending time with them, eating with them, cooking with them and being at the bonfire singing together. So this is something I've never experienced in any other place. <laughs> Back in Jogi Mountain, jobless youth are following in the footsteps of Abi and developing the we can do it attitude and have now been able to make their area one of the tourist destinations in the country. Abi Alam's approach forces us to think how we do tourism and to aspire towards sustainable tourism. The future of tourism lies on how strongly the private sector is playing a role in improving the quality of the tourism by inclusion and engagement of local communities. Such an approach helps to develop the destination area, improve the well-being of the local communities, sustains culture, improves service delivery, reduce costs, preserves nature, and motivates service providers.